A nuclear disaster at the Zaporizhia plant have regularly surfaced as fighting flared in and around it since the start of the war. Kyiv says Russian forces could now be planning a so-called false flag operation, setting off explosives on the roof of the plant to make it look like Ukrainian forces are attacking it. We have information from our intelligence that on the roof of several power units of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the Russian military installed objects similar to explosives, perhaps to simulate the hit on the plant. Maybe they have some other scenarios. For its part, Moscow has accused the Ukrainians of planning to attack the plant with long-range precision weapons. The situation at the plant is quite tense because the threat of sabotage by the Kyiv regime is high and the consequences will be catastrophic. The Kyiv regime has repeatedly demonstrated its willingness to stoop to anything. Both sides have drawn comparisons with the recent destruction of the Kharkovka Dam, which caused extensive flooding and which they blame each other for. Moscow says the destruction of the dam shows what Kyiv is capable of. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the failure of the international community to punish Russia for destroying the dam has emboldened it now to attack the nuclear plant. Ukraine's Ministry of Health has warned people living near the plant to prepare to evacuate the area in case of a major radiation leak. I have a small bag with clothes in case I have to throw away the ones I'm wearing and some medication and documents with me, as well as water and a face mask. That's it. I follow the news and of course I hope that everything will turn out fine. Nuclear energy is not a joke at all. We've already had this once before and it's something that's frightful in principle. Since the start of this war, people in the Zaporizhia region have lived with the added fear of a nuclear catastrophe. But the precise nature of these latest warnings seem to raise the threat of a potential incident. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.